Frankly, it is demeaning to my time, to my persona, to have to even get involved with people like these. I, I, I mean, I'm trying to not use, you know, vulgar words. I mean, what do I, what do I say? Arrogant nincompoops? You know what I mean? Subhanallah. You know, actually, there, there is a word that comes to mind. I mean, it's still in my head from my GRE, GRE days, almost uh, 20 years ago, I took the GRE. And um, there's, a, there's a word there. What is it? Uh, ultra crepidarian. <laughs> ultra crepidarians. <laughs> This is the word that comes to mind when I'm dealing with these people. Ultra crepidarian. You know, Sheikh Yasser Qadi has clearly just, <laughs> for the most part of his life, just lived in a library. <laughs> Ultra crepidarian. Memorize it, and I hope that inshallah ta'ala, if one thing comes out of this lecture, please, oh Muslims, you know, that are involved with this, start using this word and popularize it again because that is exactly what these preachers are. <laughs> People will be like, what? what? Ultra crepidarian. <laughs> that, is that some, is that like a dinosaur? <laughs> Ultra crepidarian is a person who not only speaks outside of his area of expertise, he speaks way out of his league, but he also feels the need to announce to the world that he is an utter idiot. And he wants the Muslims to popularize this word. <laughs> Please, oh Muslims, you know, that are involved with this, start using this word and popularize it again. Has he spoken to regular Muslims? They're like, hey, Kazi, what's up, Kazi, bro, innit? Yeah, innit? You know, the ultra crepidarian, bro, innit? <laughs> Nobody wouldn't. I mean, people can barely understand Muslims sometimes. Hey, Kazi, bro, innit? Kazi, what's going on, innit? I said that, man. I said that. Kas, man. <laughs> he wants them to add this word to it. <laughs> I said that any I said ultra crepidarian. <laughs> <laughs>